the bite is everything on fishing. You know? That's that's what gives me you know, all the blasts. Is, is grab this this uh, this uh, line here, is uh, attached to my my bridge teasers, and uh, a lot of guys using electric reels. They press the button. That no, I don't press any button. I bring that dog to the back of the boat. They look like a dog, like a furious dog. He wants to eat that piece of meat. So it's, it's a lot of fun teasing a fish. Um, and then of course the bite. The way we fish, we're trying to catch them as quick as possible. And when the mate has a lead, of course, when the fish jumps on the back of the boat, that's, you know, everybody's waiting for that. My dream was not to be a captain, a boat captain, when I was a young boy. My dream was to be a pilot. Unfortunately, I was not good in school. And uh, I ended up, ended up on the, in fishing thanks to uh, Captain Les Gallagher and his horse. That time I was working in a restaurant with my best friend. I used to own a restaurant there, the Capitolio. And, uh, and I told the guy one day, hey Les, you know, any chance to go out there, you know, I'd love to try that. About Cape Verde, this place is just amazing for my own fishing. That's, uh, I don't think there's any other place in the world with, uh, with the sizes like we have in here. You know? Of course, you catch a grand in Madan, you catch a grand in Azores, you catch a grand in Bahamas, on the Bermuda. In Brazil, etc., etc., but the main difference in here you have some numbers uh, and you catch a 150 pounder, you know, you put your teeth in the water and some is 800 pounds behind, behind the boat. So that's that's what that's what brings a lot of people to the Cape Verde. Unfortunately, not enough, it's a very short season. Uh, is that it's not the numbers, it's a combination of some numbers and, of course, the size of the fish. trying to catch the most. He always wants just that one more. That's what he says, one more. Famous quote, Zach, one more. My name's James David, 20 years old. I'm the first crew on the Amelia. I grew up fishing all my life with my family, dad, mom, brother, sister, in Miami, Florida. Came through tripping Aquafina, I'm sipping 15, kept a weapon on me. Flow make bitches, I'm my my business, stack chicken like what it's gon' be. Crew in the cut, hey, you want us for run when I tell a bit peace. Love is love. Love is love. I need love. One of the fishes behind the boat. Zach doesn't hold back, he lets it out. If you're not doing the right thing, you're gonna know about it. And the boat next to you is gonna know about it as well. He gets excited, he wants to catch him. More than anybody on the boat, more than anybody on the dock. He doesn't care if it's a 150 pounder or an 800 pounder, he wants to catch him just as bad. Sorry, oh, my brain. Getting old, you know, his wife, the hair is gone. 
It's a very stressful job. A friend of mine, Bob Reach, uh, American gentleman, asked me a few years ago when he fishing with me here if I knew it was the most stressful job in the world. And I said, well, maybe a surgeon, pilot, something like that. You know? And he smiled to me and uh, he said, New York Times uh, did a big report about the most stressful jobs in the world. And number one, it was fishing guide. Crash with that. Pull him off. James, James, man. Oh, it's still there, sir. Ah, uh, gonna hit my head. Ah, uh, uh, heart attack, my mummy. Uh, like 10 um, pounds of drag is okay. Yeah, well, 10 pounds of drag. Go a bit more than that, please. Shit, man. Fishing. You never know what's gonna happen. You might die with a heart attack. Uh, lung cancer, but I stopped that, so I'm not smoking anymore. Probably a heart attack. Yeah. 